Hello and welcome. Really glad you joined us. Now the Bible is filled with, um, in many places, the theme of sorrow turning into joy. Uh, there's one verse that says, weeping may stay overnight, but joy comes in the morning. And there was an occasion when Jesus was with his disciples, not long before his death, his resurrection would follow, and he said to them, you will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will turn to joy. And Jesus himself, the Hebrew writer to the Hebrews, tells us that for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. And this is how our lives run, isn't it? And at the same time, we can have sorrow and joy, maybe even in the same day, maybe even at the same time. I wonder in the, the trials of lockdown at the moment and the sorrows that you're also knowing something of God's joy in your life, joy in your salvation as well. A little bit later, as we go through our, our time together, we'll see that the pathway to know God's joy is through repentance, which involves a deep sorrow over our sin. But then it leads to joy, the joy of salvation. Let's pray together. Our Father, we thank you that you are the God of our salvation. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you knew the depths of sorrow, but that you also know the heights of joy. We pray that we may know something, even in our sorrow, of the joy of the Lord. May we know something of the joy of your salvation today. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Just to quickly go through some more notices again for this coming week, 12 o'clock, straight after this time together. Let's meet on Zoom, uh, Monday at 11 o'clock in the morning. It's an informal Zoom meeting. And the ladies are on Tuesday at 10.15 a.m. Now, there's a members meeting on Wednesday this week. Uh, so that's 7.30 on Zoom. Uh, details will come out, of course. Please send any apologies to John Hocking for that. Uh, Friday, 2 p.m. is the um, another informal Zoom time and then the CY meet at 7.30 on Friday after their half term break. Now you should have received uh, hopefully these, these books by now uh, in the post in one way or another. Uh, so, so that one is, uh, is Readings for Lent so that started on Wednesday. Uh, so if you haven't got one, please ask. And that book is a, a book to read and then perhaps to give away to uh, someone that you might know who perhaps isn't a Christian or whatever. Uh, so if you haven't got one, please ask. Uh, but let's be, let's be reading this book together and also uh, read that book as a real means to help. Now, as we go through our, our service now, we've got some people reading the Bible, as we have been doing for, for many, many weeks, perhaps most of the time through lockdown. Uh, so just to say who they are. So Sarah and Dave Rowan will be doing the first couple of readings. And then Chris White will be doing the reading uh, just before uh, we do the main message from Psalm 51. So if you're wondering who they are, that's who they are, David Sarah Rowan and Chris White. Now we're now going to open with our opening song, which is This Is Our God. <laughs> 